moment. Waiting to strike like snakes. And I'm there too. I feel like a spring. Today I feel more like the cum sock that you left under your bed and you're just stiff as fuck. Hey, stiff big girl. You gotta treat her like one. Don't be, you know, don't be soft. Or she'll fucking take advantage of it. She'll control you. She'll throw you around like a thing. It's not soft. There's nothing soft about weightlifting. The only thing that's gonna be soft is your fucking cock with all your bloods and your fucking biceps and your fucking back. Application of the high intensity training principle will guarantee optimal progress. While it is true that each of us are unique as personalities, it is also true that we are physiologically alike, making our training requirements practically identical. Yes, there are those who will gain faster than others, owing to differences in existing levels of fitness and the age and in innate adaptability to exercise. The important point to remember here is that you will grow progressively larger and stronger muscles only when you train with increasing levels of intensity. This is universal and applies to all human beings. I wasn't talented in bodybuilding, any genetics, I didn't have any, I wasn't talented in business, but the thing is, I, I was telling David about this earlier, I had this attitude that I can do, there's nothing I can't do, if I can squat 400, 535 or 100, oh, 23, whatever it was, I can do anything, I believe that, and it worked, because I believe it. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, buddy. And 
intense training with purposeful behavior aimed at the goal of increasing muscular size and strength. In order to train as hard as possible, you must retain a clear image of your purpose. Once your goal is sharply, but realistically defined, all that remains is carrying out your plan. You don't, however, worry about your individual potential. Potential is only the expression of a possibility, something that can be assessed accurately only in retrospect. In other words, you'll never know how good you might have become unless you try. discipline, it taught me sacrifice, and it just taught me how to trust my decisions, you know, and when I started trusting my decisions, I started seeing changes that I was in control of, you know, not anyone else. This sport is definitely challenging, and I've learned a lot, so have all these guys about yourself and what you're faced with in adversity and overcoming. I just didn't give up, and I continue to train. I snapped my fingers and put my chest, you know what they said? I'll never come back. I'll never be a bodybuilder. I'll never. This happened after I got second place in the first in the summer field. You know what happened? I don't care. You gotta prep yourself. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. oh that's easy. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That shit flying, son. Come on, big time. Woo! Yep. 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 Hey, he's making our shit fly. Oh yeah. He's Long he's welcome. Shit. He's welcome. <laughs> that's that lengthy shit. He's earning points right now. Woo! He's getting a free trip to the Bahamas with this shit. Come on! Oh yeah, two more! Come on! Hey, let's one go! More, one, more, one more! One more! One more! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! 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 yeah. Up, 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 up. I'm not touching it! I'm not touching it! Come on! Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Appreciate it, son. Appreciate you. Clean my fucking weight today, but only after. After we get a pump, the pump is more important. The pump? You gotta realize your pump is more important than fucking picking this weight up right now. Okay, the pump should be your first, first nature. It should be your nature. Yeah. It should come first. Yeah. Okay. So right. let's, let's let's head let's out. Go. Let's go get some fucking some pump work. Kill me, and I'm like, don't be that loser guy. Kill me. Crazy. I give gave it that much. Was it worth it? Hell yes. Hey. You wake off. Your Johnson's fucking sore. Why can't you train so hard that you're fucking sore? Huh? You know you push it past failure when you're fucking something. jerking off? You feel really yeah, yourself. imagine that on your fucking bicep. Yeah. Do right. you want to walk out the door a damn loser or do you want to walk out the door a winner? Imagine walking out the door a loser. I'd rather die. I would rather die than be that loser guy. I'll, I'll, I'll fight to the death. And you'll be a fucking loser if you don't. It sounds crazy. I wanted it more. I wanted it more. Some people believe that training to failure is when they want to stop, not when you want to stop. to myself 
that I'm that loser. There is nothing that I won't do. There's nothing that I won't do to avoid being a loser. And if you think you could have done more, you're a loser. Failure. When you're uncomfortable, it's when you grow. When you're in the gym and it hurts, and you don't feel strong, that's when you grow. I mean, there are many times where I, I looked at myself and said, do I really have what it takes? I mean, I was always wondering if I should keep going. And the answer was always, I have to, I have to. I don't fuck with that phony shit, though. I really love this shit. So if you want to come in here and you want to fucking bullshit around, like, this is my fucking living, bro. This is how I make my money. This is how I, I survive. This is how I praise God. I got to see that grit. I got to I gotta see that grit in you, you feel me? Hit that shit, buddy. Come on, two trains. <laughs> come on. Yeah, baby, come on. Fuck the road. Come on, Chris. Eat her up. You know, we clean up our weights. We actually do. That's where we're at right now. Um, shout out Exile straight up. Like, this gym's crazy, bro. Hey, like the borrow these shirts. This shirt is literally, the owner, Bob, gave us these shirts. And they're literally like 40 years old from the 80s. The power of the golden era took me over today. I swear, bro. I swear. This is the golden era. Wow. I don't know if that was... That shit was different, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I wanna be in this fucking book. This is the type of history they should be teaching. Bro. This is the type of history they need. I wanna be a fucking sick cunt. It's sick cunt history, literally. Soldiers.